guys today we've just got a quick short and sweet video and take you through how I've been searching for a Mark 23 carbine kit on Thingiverse. Now I'm using my mobile device my iPhone 8 Plus and basically just searching in Thingiverse for the Mark 23. So you, as you can see I'm scrolling down and we come across the Airsoft Mark 23 Carbine Kit V2. So I was interested in this kit as it has the exact style and looks that I'm looking for that I want to go for with my Mark 23. So I'm just searching through here, just looking through the images and I've basically already decided that this is the way that I want to go with my Mark 23. So what I'm going to do after I've been searching through this on my mobile device, I'm just going to head over to the website on my laptop. Once on my laptop, I can then download the files. Once I've downloaded the files, I can then use them on my own hobbyist 3D printer to print my own kit. Hopefully this will work. Hopefully the only cost it will be is for the filaments that I need to use. Obviously I'll keep you up to date throughout the project. I'll let you know what's going on. But for now I'll just let you watch the rest of the video. Obviously you can see what you can find on Thingiverse yourself if you head over to that website. Now this video isn't sponsored and I am not receiving any funds or money from Thingiverse. I just thought I'd show you the process of what I do to try and find inspiration for my new projects. Okay guys, so if you do like this video do me a favour and hit that thumbs up button. If you don't like it, thumbs down, but also tell me why you don't like it. And if you can do guys also just tap that subscription button and then tap the notification button. You'll be notified for every video that I upload on YouTube then. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch you all soon. so there is just one thing I can't leave this video without explaining to you so obviously everybody puts up these things on Thingiverse um, for free they don't expect to get any payments for what they put up however it does help the creators so once you're on the product that you like you've obviously got the name there at the top of the page so if you click on that it'll take you to their own personal page Generally they'll have a PayPal link or a Patreon link or a GoFundMe link so you'll be able to make a payment towards what they create. Okay so what I'm going to do once I've downloaded the files I will leave a payment for this guy on his PayPal link. It's the correct thing to do, it's the right thing to do. It keeps people creating and making the world go round basically and we can't have new products without innovation.